Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to take you along with a with me for a little night routine. If you are new here, hi, my name is Haley. I'm 24 years old and I work as a financial data analyst in Ottawa and I make work and lifestyle content. So if you want to see more, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Today I'm going to actually take you along a little bit of a night routine. So I work like a typical 9 to 5, but we're very fortunate and we get to um, pick our own hours. And so I prefer to work either like between 7 and 3 and 7.30 to 3.30. So it's just a little bit after 3 now and I'm basically done for the day. We are still working from home just because of the pandemic and we really, I'm really have no idea when we're going to be going back. This is how my night routine has been since working from home. Today we actually have to go and do a few errands, but typically after work I would probably just spend some time either reading, editing a video, um, doing baking, something like that. Today I'm just going to do a bit of cleaning before we go and do the errands. Like I have to, I have laundry sitting behind me that I need to put away and I want to put a load of laundry on and just some dishes I need to clean up. So I'm going to make a little to-do list before I do that and then we're going to go run those errands. So luckily because I'm working from home I don't have to get changed out of uncomfortable business casual clothes. I've just been in this all day. I'm just in some Gymshark leggings and this oversized uh, pajama top. So I'm all ready to get to work. So it's now just about just a little after 5 30 we just got back from our errands and I got something from chapters so if you want like a little mini book haul or anything like that leave that comment down below we usually try to eat around 6 6 30 so I'm gonna start dinner now but first I'm just gonna put away the dishes because I didn't get around to washing the few that we have from lunch earlier so I'm just gonna do that and then I will start dinner. Tonight we're having this grated zucchini bolognese so um, we usually will have we have been having good food boxes lately just because of the pandemic we try to limit our grocery shopping as much as possible so yeah I'll bring you along with that.
it's just about 6 20 now so and i'm just finished making dinner so we're about to we're gonna dig in and watch hell's kitchen So now that I've finished uh, lying up my clothes for the next day, I'm just gonna go do some skincare and get ready for bed. So I figured I'd talk to you a bit about what my skincare is right now. I am breaking out a bit, but I think that's like a combination of a few things. My skin's pr actually usually pretty clear, which I'm very happy about and very grateful. Or, so I keep it pretty simple. I have normal to dry skin, I would say. In the summer, it's more normal. And then in the winter, it's definitely really dry. So what I've been doing for cleanser, I use this salicylic acid uh, cleanser by the Inky List. A lot of this is inspired by Hiram. Uh, he always recommends salicylic acid but it's usually, he usually recommends it for more um, oily skin, but he said that this one is good for those who, um, people with drier skin, so that's what I use for my cleanser. And then if I'm wearing makeup, I will, or if I'm wearing makeup or a lot of suntan lotion that day, I'll go in with this micellar water just to take it all off. I use this toner. I know you really don't need toner, but I really like to use it. It's fun. Twice a week, I use a face mask. Tonight, I'm just going to use this L'Oreal Pure Clay face mask. I basically just use any face mask I have. I don't really think that they're necessary. I just think that they're fun to do, so I, don't, so I do it twice a week. So I, I sort of rotate between a face mask a serum and exfoliator so for exfoliator i use this peter thomas roth one but i would never i'm not going to ever repurchase this I, this is just sort of what i have because i got influenced but i know it's not actually peeling my dead skin cells so i think i'm going to get something by the ordinary next time and then if i'm using serum i've lately i've just been using this Hydro Boost by Neutrogena, but I think again, I'm going to try out some ordinary products next time. If you haven't noticed, I have been watching a lot of Hiram like I feel like everybody has over quarantine, so I have been inspired to try a lot of the ordinary products and the Inky List, which is a, you can find at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. So if you're looking for this brand, that's where you can find it in Canada. Finally, I finish it off with this moisturizing lotion at night. And then at night, I will go in with this absolutely ageless, the Savino um, eye cream. Again, not necessary apparently, but just for fun. <laughs> I'm gonna do that and then I will, and then I'm gonna get changed into some pajamas and I'll talk to you guys after that. Hey guys, so it's now 8.30 and I've just been watching YouTube videos because that's my um, preferred way of winding down. I finished New Girl, so now I, until I find a new show to start binging, I've been watching YouTube videos at night. Um, every night to end my night, I will grab a glass of water and read until I can't keep my eyes open and just fall asleep. I try to read at least one chapter, but if I'm really tired that day, then I just read whatever, however long my body um, tells me to, because I usually get up at five o'clock in the morning, so just to start my day early. I just finished reading and I'm really tired now so I'm gonna go to sleep 
but I just want to say thank you for watching and if you do enjoy this video please give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more lifestyle and more content. Anyways, good night and I will see you in my next video. Bye!